Hello, this is going to be a little bit of review from our ancient history class, what you need to remember to be successful for a medieval time in China. So, one of the key things we're going to need to remember, because it's going to come up time and time again, is the Mandate of Heaven. So, the Mandate of Heaven. Mandate is a fancy word for right. It's a pact, meaning an agreement between the ruler and heaven. And when we say heaven, we mean the gods, the spirits. First, that Chinese emperors ruled because heaven said so. There can only be one ruler, not two not three, and typically this ruler rules in a family. A ruling family is a dynasty. Now, this ruler is chosen by heaven because of their virtue. Just like the virtues we have here. Love, patience, diligence. Now, here's the thing. This right to rule is not limited to one family, meaning heaven didn't say the Smith family are the rulers of China forever. No. Heaven said the Smith family is the rulers of China now, as long as they're virtuous, but if they become unvirtuous, perhaps it'll be the Drummer family, or it'll be the New Win family. Now, because you have your power coming from heaven, this gives the ruler the right to be the religious ruler. The Chinese emperor is the link between heaven and earth. Therefore, that ruler has supreme power, total power. This is an absolute monarchy here. But, also, if they are not being virtuous, they can lose the mandate of heaven. Therefore, they can be overthrown by the people if they lose the right of heaven. So therefore, rulers must be virtuous. They must treat their people well. They must put the needs of China as a top priority. Now, nature is said to reject the ruler if they stop being virtuous. This could be floods earthquakes, even comets or meteors seen in the sky, a supernova. They called them guest stars when the Chinese astronomers saw them. They could be omens of bad tidings. So therefore, you know, is a ruler truly the cause of a flood? Well, we would say no, those are natural causes. But to the Chinese, the ruler's actions could be the cause of nature to reject them. And obviously, if nature and the gods have rejected a ruler, the people have the duty, the right, to overthrow them. Here's a visualization of it. A powerful new dynasty receives the mandate of heaven. The emperor then will reform society. There's peace, there's harmony, there's prosperity. Typically then, life improves for the people. We have people going and getting more wealthy. We have people being protected by the government. But as time goes on, new dynasties, they grow old. They become the old, the, the regular. The rulers aren't as in tune with the people. They become corrupt. Then typically taxes are raised, people are forced into the service of the emperors, perhaps building palaces or doing other building projects. And then therefore, the old dynasty will lose the mandate of heaven. We'll see disasters, droughts, floods, famine, invasion from the enemy. The people are not having their lives valued. They're being overworked and not protected. Therefore, the people unite, they rebel, and a new ruler comes, and once again, the circle continues.
The final thing we need to remember here is going to be our Han Dynasty. Now, we ended ancient history in China with the Han and their fall, and we're going to pick back up with the fall of the Han again. So it's important that we just have a quick overview on the Han. The Han Dynasty was a great time in China for the beginning. It was a time of economic growth. They created the Silk Road. They had achievements in the arts and sciences. But we see a fall. Now, because of the Silk Road, we're going to have tons of Chinese goods going across the world. We know during the Han period of China, the Han actually knew and interacted with the Romans. They were impressed by the Roman glass. The Romans, of course, wanted Chinese silk. Buddhism is going to come to China during the Han period, and after the Han, we'll learn about how it becomes the dominant religion in China. We also know during the Han they create the tradition of having a large bureaucracy. A bureaucracy is having a large government. It was one of our vocabulary words last year. But dishonest workers will seize control. That's what we really need to remember from the Han. As the dishonest workers come and seize control, we're going to see them lose control of the Silk Road. We're going to see the people pressed into doing work and the emperors not ruling properly. So, that's our notes for the day. I hope you had a insightful experience. Hopefully you remembered some of this and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Bye.